everyone and welcome back. It's a pleasure to see you again. I can't wait to share with you a little bit more of our Sharing Dance 2021 choreography. Um, so uh, Cherise and I are excited to dance with you. Let's first check our available space, make sure we've got lots of room to move. And I'll remind you as you're dancing along with us to always listen to your body and make any modifications you need to make sure the movements are suiting you and how you feel today. And anytime you want to practice something again, just rewind and do it one more time or press pause to take a little rest. Okay, so a little bit more choreography. In fact, we know these movements already. The next section includes a repeat of a couple of the movements from the first part of the dance. So the first thing we're going to practice is this twisting action that we did at the beginning of the dance. Twisting right, twisting left. And then we do that suspended circle that you can decide if yours is in the front space or if yours is in the high space over your head. The choice is up to you. All right, let's practice this movement four times. Ready, five, six, twisting to the right. Going right and left. Suspend and coming back down. Going left and right. Suspending and release. And again, and twist and twist. Suspend. Last one, going twist and twist. Suspend, release. Very nice, everyone. And I want to help everybody feel that this movement isn't just a movement of our arms. It's actually a movement of our torso, our spine, and our breath. It doesn't matter how big you choose to do it, whether it's a little twist and a little twist and then a big suspension, or if you feel comfortable with a big twist and a big twist and a big suspension, you really are allowing your rib cage to move along with your arms. Okay, let's practice that one more time with that in mind. Let's feel the movement of our rib cage in the space. Arms can be small or big. Ready, five, six, seven, eight. Right and left. You choose the height of your arms and a switch and switch and float. Two more. Find your breath. Last one goes pulse and pulse. Find your breath. Beautiful. You're doing that so well. So the next section of the dance is also something we've done before. It's the palm flipping section. So where we do a little flip to press our palms up with our eyes and chest lifted and a flip to present our palms forward with our chest curved. So let's practice those arms. Flip up, flip down, flip up, flip down, flip up, flip down. Excellent. The next section is where we reach high and we reach side. We're always going to stay anchored, whether we are anchoring our feet into the floor through this movement or we're anchoring both sitting bones into the chair. We're going to ensure that we have that firm connection to, the, to our base, whatever our base may be. So arms reach up, arms reach side, arms reach up, arms reach side. Try that again with your breath, reaching up. Reaching side, reaching up, reaching side. Beautiful. So if we put those two parts together, we've practiced them before, we have four sets of our twist and circle. We have two sets of our palm flips and two sets of our reaches. And then we repeat that, palm flips and reaches again. Okay, let's practice that together slowly with counts, starting from the twist. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and release on eight. And a one, two, three, four, and breathe. Third time. And up. Fourth time. And go up. Continuing with the flip, flipping up. Flipping down, flipping up, flipping down, reaching, reaching up, reaching side, reaching up, back to the flips, up, flipping up, flipping down, 
flipping up, flipping down. Big reaches, go reach, and reach, and reach, and reach. Excellent. So that is our new section that we're going to learn today. And that section connects us into the second repeat of the chorus. So I think the next thing we should do is remind ourselves of the chorus movements, and then we'll make the connection between the material we practice today and that repeated chorus. Okay, so if you think back, you might remember that our arm circle was the first part of our chorus. Let's see if we can practice it together slowly. Ready? Five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four. Ready to shape on seven. Breathe eight. Find the floor shape. Find the ceiling shape. Use your left arm. Use your right arm. Clasping high with pulses. Three. Clasping low with pulses. Three. Pressing up. Fists high. Two, three, four. Pulse low. The chorus repeats again. Going back. Three, four, five, six, shape, seven, breathe, eight, going shape, and up, and breath with the left, and breath with the left, right, going high, four, three, that's it, going in, four, three, press it up, one, two, three, push it down, pulse, six, seven, and eight. Now that was a pretty fast review of the chorus. I hope that you were able to follow along. I think now we'll add those two parts together, but we'll go very slowly. So we have time to really think and make sure we're bringing quality of movement into each part of the dance. So give yourself a little shake, a little wiggle. We have lots of arm movements in this dance, so maybe you need to give your shoulders a lift and a drop and a lift and a drop to give them a little break. And remember, you're always welcome to pause the video or repeat the video at any time. Okay, so let's connect our beginning of today's movement into our repeats of the chorus under tempo. Five, six, seven, eight. Right, left, and up, up, softly down to the left, and right, and up. Up, two more sets, going right and left. Find your breath. This is a pulse and a pulse and suspend. Flipping up, find the high and present. Find the high point and present. Now you reach your height. You choose how to reach and up. Flipping again, flipping up. Flipping down, flipping up, flipping down, reaching, going high and side. The next movement is the chorus, going backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, shape, seven, eight, floor, ceiling, wave and wave. Hands together, one, two, three, in on a one, two, three. Three, send your energy up your height of arms and pulse it low. Six, last time chorus goes one. And five, six, shape seven. Reach down and up and breathe and breathe. Grabbing up, two, three, and in, two, three, and reach and we finish with the pulses, four pulses there to finish. Excellent work, everyone. That is a lot to put together. I really, really love that we were able to connect the movements from today with the chorus that we learned last time. So I think now it's time that we give that a try with the music. Starting with our curves, twisting goes pulse. Breathe. Pulse. Three. Pulse. Last one. Flip up. Reach up. Flip up. 
Okay, let's go to the chorus. Here we go. Hit seven, reach, go low. Left arm. Grab high, pulse. Pulse. Reach it up. Push it down. From the top, go back. Smooth. Shape seven, reach it low. And up, and down, press up, pulse. Really nice work, everybody. It was so neat to put all that movement together. You did an excellent job, and I think we should practice it one more time. And this time, remember that if you want to put in some of the pieces of footwork, for our repeat of the chorus, you're absolutely welcome to add in some additional footwork as well. Okay, so let's repeat it once more, our new uh, choreography from today and our repeated chorus. Ready, set, twist. Flip it up. We will go to the ocean. Reach it up. And we'll find love on the other side. Flip it up. And we'll take all our chances. Reach it up. As long as we're together, we can see. All right, chorus. Shape seven, reach low. Spring. Three steps. Last time. Shape, reach, low. Flow. Three steps. And up. Pulse to finish. Well done, everyone. It was a pleasure, as always, to dance with you. We hope you join us for the next video where we'll finish up the choreography from both Cherise and I wishing you all the best and see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>